Hi, I'm Tony from the Stripe Education Team. This training video will assist you when you come to ice skating as part of your scope education program. We'll be giving you some tips on how to introduce yourself to the participants. We'll be showing you the equipment you need and the safest way to push a participant on the ice. As well as talk about what other roles are available to you when you participate on the day. Some students can feel a little nervous when they first introduce themselves to a participant. Just remember to always see the person, not their disability. Stand or sit in front of the person, introduce yourself and ask the person their name and a little about themselves. It can go something like this. Hi, my name is Amara. I'm volunteering today. What's your name? My name is Annie. Have you ever gone skating before? No, not really. I'm really scared and heads of it. And Same. Nervous. I've never done it before. Would you like me to assist you on the ring? Yes, please. Alright. Um, what would you like me to do first? If you get to the back of my chair, mm -hmm. that's fine. That's a great start. Sometimes participants may have communication difficulties and may need more time to get their message across. Just be patient. Some people may use alternative communication methods, such as a speech device or spellbook. Some participants may not be able to communicate at all through speech. Don't be afraid to work with the person and their support worker to assist you with any understanding. Just remember that the participants are adults. So always speak to the person you are supporting with an age appropriate tone of voice. It can sometimes be difficult getting people's wheelchairs on and off the ice. If you need assistance, the community inclusion officer and support workers will be there to help you through this process. You'll be given a pair of skates, a helmet, and if you require them, some pads are available as well. Wear a thick pair of socks to avoid getting blisters from your skates. Safety always comes first. Keep your back straight, stand close to the wheelchair, and keep your elbows tucked into your sides. You will need to ensure that you keep this posture as you move the participant around on the ice so that you don't injure your back. There are other roles at ice skating as well as pushing. For example, helping the participants get ready for ice skating. <laughs> Assisting people to get on and off the ice. And most importantly, having a chat with participants on and off the ice and getting to know as many people as you can there on the day. So there you have it. A few tips to help you support people when you come to ice skating. This experience is a great opportunity to feel more confident and comfortable interacting with people with disability and to have a greater understanding of your role in creating a more welcoming and inclusive community. Best of all, it's about having fun.